coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm your host on Teaching with Board Games. Last week I put out an episode in which I looked at the Flippity.net and their bingo game and how it had a lot of applications for teaching, especially useful now that we're in the virtual um, environment and we have so much need for being able to use these kinds of resources online and that's exactly what this was doing. So given that it was a quite a good response to that video, I decided to continue looking at what Flippity.net has available. And so today I will be showing you a video about the Flippity.net quiz show and how that can be used for online teaching. But without any further introduction, let's get right to my screenshot. Okay, so we're back again to the Flippity website. So this is at uh, Flippity.net. And once again, if you didn't see the first video, I'm just going to show you now that there are actually a whole range of different things that you can do on the Flippity thing here. Last time I was looking at the Flippity Bingo. Today I'm going to look at Flippity Quiz Show, which is up here on the top left, one in to the right. So there's different options for you here that you can uh, get a demo of what it would um, look like if you're going to play it. The instructions on how to make your own and a template if you just want to start filling it in. So let's just take a quick look at the demo here so we know what we're getting into. This is this is what I would be doing if I was looking into something like this. I'd want to I'd want to know what is it that I'm going to be looking at? Uh, what kinds of things is it going to do? So when I look at it here, you know, it's got the Jeopardy style board here and I like the addition of the teams here. Now, I had done a video previously about doing a Jeopardy style game on Google Slides and it was one that was created by an individual users out there that I had come across and it was a really nice one it really looked really good I think aesthetically it looked better than this however this one has uh, with my playing around with it a couple of differences notable differences right off the bat that um, really sort of make it stand out for me as, as the superior one to be using. For one, it keeps the score for you here. I like that, that you can keep the score for these things. These, these team names are changeable. You can change this here, so the uh, Red Rockets, you know, you can change whatever the name is that you want, but, you know, as you put the, the, the as the team start getting points, you can, you can record them here. The other one didn't do that. The other uh, bonus is, like, if you're looking at, um, when you when you do a question, so question 300, what Sandra Bullock movie was in, originally entitled Coma Guy? And that was while you were sleeping, I believe. Yes, while you were sleeping. So, and you can give the points to a team. Ooh, wow, that was loud. Um, I don't know if you heard that, but there's a loud ding ding in my ears there on my headphones. And click again. Now, so the team two gets those points and like that, I was showing you there was sort of a manual add-on with the points. But the other nice thing, which is what the other one doesn't do, is that it grays out now. It sort of fades out this one here so that the people who are playing online with you know that that one is no longer available. And that's really great because with, when I was playing before uh, with the other Jeopardy board with my students online, um, they would say, okay, I'll take this one for 300. I'm like, yeah, that one's gone. Okay, what about this one? No. So I have to start reading out to them which ones were still available, and they would choose from that. But now it's going to be much easier uh, as we move over to this one for them to see um, which ones are and are not available. And like I said, the, the addition of the scorekeeping is brilliant. Uh, there is limitations that you have to, you don't have to use all of the questions, but you can't use more of the questions. Um, and I'll talk about some of the other things that you can do with these as we get into the creation of it. But anyway, so that's, like I said, that is the demo board. It gives you a sense of uh, what it looks like. So let's look at how we make it. So I'm just going to go back then. And, you know, the instructions tell you all about how to make it. But I'm just going to, you know, well, they can just take a look at it. But it tells you the steps here with some questions on things that you can be doing. Like, um, like as I was saying, making changes, deleting uh, there's a special bonus question. So there's ones with, uh, you put three asterisks in there and it's like a, a, a daily double or something in, in uh, Jeopardy. You can add pictures, videos, all kinds of things to this. Um, let's just take you back to the demo, see if I can find one of those in this character. Okay, they go on. You hear that? Um, but it gives, that means it's extra points. All right, so 
that is um, what if you put three asterisks into your question that will create that effect okay so as I say let's go back again so and um, so yeah you put that at the beginning of any question cell and that's going to do that so let's go into the template Okay, again, just going to make a copy. I'm going to have to clean up my Google Drive after this because I made a couple extra copies here. But uh, you see here, like there's those three asterisks at the start of the question. That means that is going to be the quote unquote daily double question. All right, so then what you do is you would just go in here and you would change these up and you would change it to whatever. So if I make this about the digestive system and then I would make my question here. Um, what um, what is the name of the hole in your face where food goes in okay yeah you can say whatever you want and I'm just trying to think of a very easy question for like a hundred points here so mouth and you have to double check make sure you didn't spell things wrong what what is the name of the hole um, what is the name of the food tube which con connects the mouth to the stomach? And that's the esophagus. Okay, and so on. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, obviously, and, and have you watch me make up my own Jeopardy here at this point. But if you prepare your questions, if you've done it before, like when I started doing Jeopardy with my students, I did it on the chalkboard, and I would just have the questions on a piece of paper, and I would just draw the, the grid onto the chalkboard, and we'd do it that way. This is so much better now. Now, you know, back in those days, I didn't have an LCD projector, um, but now so we've got the LCD projectors, and now, especially that so many people are doing this online, this is really... This is the main reason why I'm doing this one here today is because of how many people are stuck teaching online. So this is a perfect opportunity to be doing some fun things with your students online. Kids get really motivated to do things in which are more done in a fun way to, to play games and to, especially when there's some friendly competition, this is a, a great way to do it. So I really think this is a wonderful way to do this. So once, once we've done all this, once you have everything all set up there, then what you're going to do now, you know, I don't need to, this is the final Jeopardy question. So you have your six categories with your five things there. And um, there in the instructions, it tells you what to do if you want to not use all five. So you only want to use five categories, not six. Then it tells you what you need to do. So once you're done, you've made all the changes you want to make. Then you're going to say file and you're going to uh, publish to the web. You need to make sure that you publish it. Hit the green button here for publish. And you sure? Yep, pretty sure. And away you go. So that's going to give you the link there, but you don't need any of that. Just, just close that. Once you're done, you're done. Just what you're going to do after you publish to the web is you're going to come here to get your link. Okay. And then this link is going to be, uh, you're going to copy that link. Now, what you could do is you could um, create a new. Let's see. Let's get rid of this thing here. Okay. And so this is now my thing. So you can see here, digestive system was in the hole in your face where food goes in. And the mouth. And say, let's say, Team 3 got it. <phone rings> ding, ding. All right. And now that's grayed out. Okay. So that would be it. And you'd go through the game. You play it. Now, if you want to uh, set this up, if you go into Google Slides, let me just go into a, make a Google Slide here. And again, I showed this with my previous video that I did with the bingo. But uh, in case you haven't watched that one, let me show you a great way to implement this into your, into your daily routine. Now, what I do, and I know a lot of other teachers are doing it as well, is they're doing uh, their daily slides um, so their daily schedule on Google Slides. So that way each slide is a different activity that you're doing during the course of the day. So say this um, this is coming up now on uh, it'll be January 25th on Monday. So let's say we're doing this on January 25th, all right, just for argument's sake. So I can call this one January 25th. And I will start to put in my slides. And one of my slides is going to be my Jeopardy slide. So maybe I'm going to um, 
you know, create a text box. I'm going to make this like instead of 14, 100, oops, 140. Jeopardy. Okay, so now what I want to show you here is how to use a link as a clickable link to take you directly to the game show so that the students make it as simple as possible. The students just have to be on the slide. They can click the link and go directly in. So you can just direct them to that. So first thing we're going to do is we're getting an image and a um, thing. So we're going to just say maybe question mark. Okay, so we're going to take a question mark for the Jeopardy, uh, insert it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So right now it's just a picture. It's not, I'm not able to uh, link anything to that picture. So what I do, what I've learned how to do is I come here to the shapes, go down to shapes. I usually just choose rectangles because it's easiest. It's the first one there. And I cover it. I cover that shape with my rectangle. Now what I'm going to do, just a few down from the rectangle is the fill color. I'm going to go to the fill color. I'm going to make it transparent. And then the one next to it is the border color, because right now you can see the border is still there. So I'm just going to click it again so that it's highlighted in blue with those blue squares on it, showing me that it's active. And then I'm going to make the border color also transparent. Now you see my, my square that I just drew is completely invisible. Now that, that rectangle I just drew is, I can connect a link to that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to click link. And I'm going to paste that link in there for my, and you can see there's my flippity.net game show. Now, if you, one other thing that you could be doing just to be more clear for the students so that they can't say they didn't know what they were supposed to do, you could just put the instructions here. Click the question, question mark to be taken to the game. Okay, and now the students, when they, they're following along on here, they know that they just have to click on that and they're going to be taken straight to the game. Uh, I'm not going to normally, you know, I'll show you by presenting, but if I do that for whatever reason, it disrupts my uh, screen recording. So I'm not going to do that. But let's just see if I can go here. If I go here, yep, nope, it's there. Okay, so and then it would take you here. So by clicking on the link to from the, the slides, it can take you directly into here. And that's what you're going to want. Like I said, I can't do it through the present, you know, presenting, showing you what it would look like. By showing you the link here, it does exactly the same thing. It's going to take you into here and then you're going to play your game. And it's just a wonderful way to do this. The students are going to appreciate it. Trust me, like I said, I've been doing this for many years where I've been playing Jeopardy with them uh, in, in very, you know, now in, by comparison, very primitive ways to what we now have access to. And this is just a great way for the students to be uh, learning, having fun, being engaged in the learning, especially now being online. This is a wonderful thing that we have access to that we can do this kind of thing and play games like with like this with the students online. And so thank you so much, Flippity, for the making this available to us. We really need this kind of thing at this time. All right, let me take you to my final thoughts. Well, that is it for today. If you have any questions about the Flippity.net quiz show or Flippity.net bingo or Flippity.net or anything about anything, please leave me a message in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, that what I'm doing is I'm putting out videos on a weekly basis about gamification, game-based learning. Uh, my focus, you know, given by the title, was initially intention towards board games, but especially, you know, I'm always looking at ways to gamify the learning. My whole mantra, my whole mission statement as a teacher is. I teach the way I wish I was taught. I wish I learned through games and things because I, because I know a lot of my learning was done through games. If you have any other ideas for things you might like to see on the channel, be it topics of gamification or game-based learning or games you might like to see on the channel, particularly if you know of any great resources out there for online learning, please let me know. Put it in the comment section down below and I will be sure to get back to you on that and I will really like to hear more about any sort of the virtual learning that you're aware of because my whole purpose is to share this information with other teachers and parents of course and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe while you're down there it really does help well that's gonna wrap it up for today until next time i'm craig thompson wood your host on teaching with board games saying thanks for coming to the classroom are you coming back to school with me we can
जाने 